So I was having a completely crappy day at work and one of the things that I like to do when I'm having a bad day at work is go thrifting. And I found an absolutely asinine <laughs> number of vintage sci-fi. <laughs> The <laughs> vintage sci-fi and fantasy books and I'm gonna do a haul for you. I really need to like read more and and buy less but uh, that's not what we're doing today. So let me show you what I got. So I got the book one and book two of Stephen R. Donaldson's The Chronicles of Thomas Covenant. Look at those covers. <gasps> Oh, I love them. Oh my goodness. They're just, they look so good and I'm very excited to read these. And then Double Phoenix. Most of these I picked up just because the cover grabbed me. Hopefully they'll be good. This is a fantasy book. And then we have a sci-fi book by A.E. Vaught, Slan, again, amazing cover. I love these vintage watercolors. Oh, like, I don't know if y'all can really see, but do you see all the uh, saucers there? Oh, it's just so cool. And then another one from A. Vaught, amazing cover beautiful lady. We got Evanor by George MacDonald. Not only is the front beautiful with this flying fish and rainbow, but the back is also just as beautiful with this with wonderful wraparound cover. Oh, just absolutely gorgeous. Golden Cities Far by Lynn Carter. Now a lot of these books are all introduced by Lynn Carter. And then this book is actually by Lynn Carter, so I'm very interested to read what they write. And this is Golden Cities Far. I just love the cover and it's repeated here on the back. And then another beautiful wraparound cover. This is Something About Eve by James Cabell. Whoops, don't drop it. Like, look at that front and back. These are, this is a Valentine book, by the way. And then we got another beautiful wraparound cover, another one by James Cavill. Figures of Earth. Perfect for my Books Without Barcode series. And this is Kai Long's Golden Hours, Ernest Brahma. I don't know. I have a Dargan on my arm, which is Stegaman from Her Majesty's Wizard. Uh, so anything with a, a, a Dargan on it, if you don't know Dargan is a dragon, I'm kind of a sucker for. So another beautiful wraparound co cover. I'm also just a sucker for anything Japanese because I am Japanese and uh, I just love this style of architecture. It just makes my heart warm and fuzzy. And then Discoveries in Fantasy, I think this is a collection. Yeah, this is a collection by Ernest Brahma, Don Donald Corley, Richard Garnett, and Eden Philpotts. Another awesome wraparound cover that is giving me very much uh, Monty Python vibes. I don't know if anybody else is picking that up, but that's very much what that looks like to me. <laughs> I got A.A. Antanasio. This is a sci-fi book, kind of like sci-fi fantasy. It, it looks a little bit to me in other worlds. Beautiful wraparound cover. By the way, I got all these at the ReStore. So if you're not going to your local Habitat for Humanity to find vintage books, you're doing yourself a disservice because I know every every restore is different, but my restore has an excellent book section. And I was super excited because I saw an Amazon FBA person. If you don't know, I also do reselling. Um, so I will like buy these, read these, and 
review them and release them. And whenever I see an Amazon FBA person at a book, like in a book section, I get excited because that normally means that they put out fresh books and that I'm going to have a good day. <laughs> so then I found that this is uh, Peter Fortune's Sea Tyrant. I literally just picked this up because of the cover. Very much Captain Ahab is, <laughs> the back says, they said he'd sail into hell itself if that's where the whales were blowing. Definitely feel like I need to read that. Um, this one is more because I also am a partner Twitch streamer and I played this game based off of this book on stream and it made me want to read the book. <laughs> I didn't realize when I was playing the game that it had a book series by it until like I finished the game and then I'm like, oh crap, it's a book. So this is The Pillars of Earth by Ken Follett. I feel like it's a little bit ruined because I did play the game all the way through, but uh, I'm very excited to read this and review it and see like, the game is very good, but that's only if you like point and click story games, which I do. I got very attached to the characters, so very excited to read this. This is more for personal, and then I will probably spring for the hardcover if I really like it. I bought this perfect um, purely to resell. I have no interest in reading this. Uh, I picked one of these up in an estate sale recently, uh, the first book to this series. So this is Tuesday, The Rabbi Saw Red by Her Harry Kemlin. I bought this to kind of offset the cost of buying all these books. <laughs> But I have the first one, um, which is, well, I actually have the second one, Saturday the Rabbi Went Hungry. Uh, this is from the 60s. So that's purely for resale. Then I found this, oh, look at this cover. Time Mastered by Robert L. Ford. Oh, I just love these space covers. Very cool hardcover here. And man, I was so excited when I found this because uh, this is William Gibson's Neuromancer. It's basically considered, as the little blurb here says, the book that launched cyberpunk as a genre. And I'm very excited to read this. I'm very excited to read this. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh. oh, and I got some Mercedes Lackey because, you know, I cannot not get Mercedes Lackey, especially freaking hardcover. Uh, this is <laughs> this is a collab that she did with Aunt Andre Norton. Uh, it's called The Elven Bane with a Dargan on it. So, yes. And this is, of course, without a barcode. I do believe that this was published afterwards. So if you have a book that's published... Yeah, so this is 1991. So if you have a book that was published after 1978 and it doesn't have a barcode, chances are it was like saran wrap with the UPC label on it. Uh, just so that's for your reference. Very excited about this. Oh, I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited about most of these. I have got Starburst by Frederick Pohl. Look, look at this cover. Look at that. Beautiful hardcover. My goodness. I love it. This is from 1982. I'm sorry. I'm like so excited. Also by Frederick Pohl. I picked up The Voices of Heaven. Look at it. <laughs> I just, I cannot believe two hardcovers. Oh, by, by the way, the rest of everything in here is a hardcover. $17 for all of these books. $17. I'm so, I'm so happy. Oh, okay, so we got another Frederick Pohl. This is uh, Beyond the Blue Event Horizon. Oh, look at this. I cannot. Like I said, big excited. Let's see, I got this by Arthur C. Clarke and Gently Lee. This is Rama Revealed. 
I just love the colors on this. It's just really pretty. It's very eye-catching. I picked up Conqueror's Pride by Timothy Zahn. Another awesome space scene. It's here it up blown up in the front and in the back it has it in a smaller version. Very cool. And then I picked up a few Paul Anderson books. So full front and back cover here. Tau Zero by Paul Anderson. Just stunning, stunning cover. Picked up The Stars Are Also Fire. This one's just a front cover, but again, beautiful space art. I mean, it's kind of like regular space art. It looks like something that NASA would put out. <laughs> and then I got Orion Shall Rise. This is really nice. I mean, this one has some condition issues, but I still, is this a first edition? I can't remember. Mm. So it looks like this one is not a first edition. It says a limited first edition. This book has been published by Fantasia Press and this is Timescape Books. So this might be the first edition from Timescape. Still excited. And then the last book I have to show you is by Stephen R. Donaldson, and this is book three, but it's in hardcover. Hold on, hold on. So I have the first, I have three books in, in this series. One of them's in hardcover. So here we go, I got hardcover, the third book, and then the first two here, so I can at least read a good solid way through this series. I really need to spend time reading and less time buying, but man, I am, I'm set for a while and I am so excited to read these books. It's just, oh. I can just say uh, that I, my mood was definitely improved after finding and buying all these books. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I uh, hope y'all are looking forward to reviews. If not, have a nice day. Bye.